Like I said, I was going to be doing, uh, I'm I processing a video um, on the drill press, but I've got the other cover, uh, pulley cover, uh, in the bead blaster, and I'm going to be bead, bead blasting it. So I'm not going to uh, show any of it. Um, I mean, it's kind of would be ridiculous. I can't film through this small window and uh, do it at the same time. Plus, you probably can't even see, hardly see anything. Um, the There's a Mylar covering on the inside of it, and uh, you have to replace that Mylar covering because it gets all um, bl blasted. Uh, you get re uh, residual blasting material that hits the thing. That's why the mylar covers there over the glass so that uh, you can replace it. But anyways, um, I'll uh, bring you back and show it to you after I'm done. So I'm back on the drill press and what I've done is put the handle back on that pin that uh, engages and disengages the back gears on the right hand side thing. Uh, right hand side post or drill press um, I, I put the handle back on and what I did is before I, I put the handle back on I was up there with a hammer and a punch um, trying to work on getting it back a little farther it's been sitting for a couple of weeks or longer um, just kind of soaked in WD or uh, PB blaster and um, so I, I put the punch and hammer to it and um, got it to move back a little bit. It didn't seem like any further than normal or it had in the past. So I came over here and put the handle on it and um, it, it goes so far I can get it to come back out so far and then it stops and now I'm wondering if there isn't a little burr on the end of that thing that's holding it up so um, it's almost lunchtime I'm gonna pop out grab something to eat real quick and then come back and what I'm gonna do is uh, clean that off with a rag and and take a, uh, a file uh, a machinist file uh, smooth or fine uh, fine file and and just work on the end of that post a little bit to see if that's what's hanging it up um, and keep working it I'm I'll bring you back and I'll uh, videotape some of it I'll set a camera up on a tripod and videotape me doing it but uh, It'll be an edited version of it. Uh, I just can't figure out. It's pretty, pretty smooth going up. See, just be by me hitting it with my hand, it pulled back a little bit. But it gets to the end of that, where that notch is, and it doesn't seem to want to go any further. So, um, I, I, the burr uh, idea came to mind first thing, so let me try that. Um, but I'll bring you back and, and show you the progress. Kind of, of as I told you, here we are back on that uh, the drill press. And what I'm going to do is, uh, before I file it again, um, let me see if I can move it any further. So you get to one spot and it just does not want to give it up. Okay, 
I'm going to get a, uh, a rag, wipe that off, get a machine file and just do a little filing on it. I'll bring you back. What I did is uh, took a fine machinist file and uh, went around it a little bit. I really didn't see much on it, um, but hopefully maybe there was something that I couldn't see. But um, let me get back up there and uh, try and find out it some more. have had a burr on it. It went a lot farther. Now it's still hard, but let me tell you, it went a lot farther than it did before. I would have liked to have been able to get that pin entirely out. It is. Uh, I could. I might be able to at the end of my stroke on that. Uh, <coughs> what I'm going to do. I'm going to shake the lock and try to bring you over the other side. I'm going to see if that's disengaged it. Um, remember what it sounded like before or if it didn't. But um, let me shut you off here and I'll set you up over on the other side. Okay. Moment of truth. Disengage. Oh. Let me 
fire the other one up so you can see that one too. Wow, totally happy about that. I would have liked to be able to get that pin out so that it works properly, but uh, if I can, I can't. Uh, I will keep working on that off camera though, probably. Okay, in the last video, I fired this thing up and you heard it rattle like it was in the backyard to begin with. I shut it off and then you heard a pop and I turned it back on and it was disengaged out of back gear. Let me explain to you what happened. This is that bolt that that pin uh, goes into. So that end of that pin is forked and it goes into this bolt. Well, what this bolt is is spring loaded and it must, after you pull the pin out, the spring goes, pulls it back up and uh, probably engages it into a notch in the bottom of the planetary gear system. And that's what uh, takes it back out. So that thing was probably down um, from being in that position for so long and then it popped back up when I shut it off, popped up in there and that's that pop sound that you heard and when I re-engaged it, it's out of, uh, out of uh, back gear. So yeah, there it is. Out of back gear. Cool. Really happy about that. Bring you back. One of the things that I did is I've taken that piece of metal that I'm going to use for that bolt handle and uh, set it up in the mill. Um, I've got a half inch end mill in there. Uh, I've got it centered and uh, probably what I'm going to do is uh, cut that. And it's not going to happen today, but um, when I come back into the shop the next time, uh, it's going to be set and I will cut that s slot into it. Um, that goes around the bolt, that gets pinned through the bolt actually, and this turns out to be the handle. And then I'll take it back over to the lathe and knurl the, uh, the other end of it for the grip to duplicate the handles that are in there. But I'll bring you back. This is a handle uh, for the bolts for the drill press. I've got it set up here in the mill. Um, got a half inch end mill. I'm going to make that slot back into it to, uh, to go over the pin for, um, to go over the shaft that gets pinned uh, onto the bolt so it swivels. Um, I'm going to set up an automatic feed on it.
Okay, let me uh, get it out of there and I'll show it to you. Okay, there it is out of the mill. What I'm going to do is uh, take it over, put it in the lathe, and round these edges over. Uh, I'm probably going to do it with a file, uh, just to make a curved surface on it. Um, let me uh, I'll shut you off and show you the other one, uh, the original one to show you what that curved surface And here like. we are with the original one. Um, so that's kind of what that curve looks like. Um, I probably could chamfer it a little bit with a chamfering tool and then uh, take a file and kind of get that uh, curved surface to it. <clears throat> a chamfering tool is gonna leave more of a, uh, like a angle on it, like a 45 degree angle and it won't be curved. Um, and uh, let me put it in the lathe, I'll put it on that chamfering tool and I'll show you what I mean. Actually, I was wrong. It, it did kind of uh, give that rounded effect to it. Um, but I'm going to finish it out with a file. You see this one is all the way to the edge and um, I would have to take a lot of material off of that. But, well, maybe a lot of material was taken off of it. Let me try a little more and I'll bring you back. Yeah, see, it's going to take it in uh, too much of an angle. I'm not going to get that round over type of thing. It's just going to be like an angle cut. Even though it does look uh, rounded, it really isn't. It's just an angle on a radia or on a uh, piece of round stock. Um, so let me put a little file on it and uh, bring you back and show it to you after I do some file work on it. And there's the knurling on it. Now, I kind of screwed up right there, but uh, you probably never see it because it's going to get painted anyway. So one thing I never did is I never showed you how it turned out after I had uh, put a file to it and rounded it over with the file a little bit. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, yeah, that's what it's going to look like. Now all I've got to do is just drill a hole through it for that... Uh, pin or lock bolt the lock bolt nut that goes through it to uh, attach it to the bolt head so uh, I'm going to do that off camera I won't show it to you but I'll uh, I'll, I'll make sure that I uh, reference them after I get them done and onto the machine okay we're over here at the toolbox and but we're going to be discussing drill press parts this is a handle that comes off of uh, the mechanism that engages and disengages the back gear. Now, here I go again with this drill press in, in models and parts. I only have one of these handles. That's uh, the handle, again, that engages and disengages the, the back gear. And again, I only have one of them. So, I am looking for the model or anybody that has any information about these drill presses. And I've mentioned this in a shop update previously this week, but um, again, I am looking for parts for this drill press. And one of the parts is the handle. Um, that engages and disengages the back gear. I am also looking for these hand wheels. Now, both of these hand wheels are broken. I mean, on this one, there is the two, let's call them spindle ends, are broken, broken off of these two. And on the other one, there's one of them that is broken. Now, what I'd love to do is be able to find a hand wheel, two hand wheels that are in perfect condition, you know, with all of them. If worse comes to worse, I could probably duplicate these spindles, um, maybe out of steel, uh, I, you know, I'm not really sure how how well I'd be able to do it or find something that's similar to that and uh, be able to mill these off and, and drill and tap them and kind of um, put, 
put spindle ends on that way to these things but again I would really like to be able to find the model number or anybody that has any information on th these heads for the drill press because I'm not saying I think these heads were also produced in a single uh, model production of these things so I could probably do uh, take parts from a single head model and put on to this one um, but again if anybody has any information on these drill presses or knows of anybody that has some or knows where I could find parts for them um, because I need the uh, engagement parts for this for the automatic feed on it. That, that head has it, the automatic feed, and it works. But parts are missing for this. The uh, housing is missing off this one, like is on that one. Um, and the uh, engagement levers that engages engages the uh, automatic feed on it anybody that knows anything about these machines or knows of where i can get parts for them or again knows anything about them just let me know